I wanted to go over the milestone one uh, discussion assignment. There's actually three milestones in the classroom and basically you put them all together and you get your final project. Uh, but instead of tackling the final project all at once, you tackle it in three different discussion assignments. So the first one's going to be in module two and it's going to be down here Final Project Milestone 1, Introduction. This assignment is due on Thursday. All undergraduate uh, discussion assignments are due on Thursdays by default, so please keep that in mind. Uh, I want to draw your attention to this link, Milestone 1 Guidelines and Rubric Document. Students have a really tough, some students have a really tough time understanding this page. I, I think it just scares them and there's lots of uh, words and lots of itemized lists uh, but we're going to break it down you'll see that it's actually not that serious uh, from here you want to click on provided list this will show you the um, the articles that you can choose from all the articles are here and then you can open them up uh, in a, another page here Here's the main thing about the milestone projects. Here's the main thing about the final project. You need to read your article until you understand it. Um, it's not going to be easy for most students. Uh, so it's not like sitting down and reading a magazine in a waiting room. It's kind of dense and heavy uh, reading, but you have to read the article until you understand it. I can't stress that enough. You can't just eyeball the instructions, then eyeball the article, close your eyes and chuck the ball down the field and think you're going to, you know, get an A. It's not how it's going to work. It's going to make it hard on you, and it's going to be hard, make it hard on me as I try and grade your assignment. So that's the first step. Read your article until you understand it. You don't need to understand it 100%. Uh, but you should be able to understand it quite a bit. You should be able to mainly understand it. There's going to be certain words and things that you don't understand, and that's fine on the first go around. Um, but you do need to basically understand the article enough that you can answer these questions. Let me zoom in here a little. For the milestone one, you basically have three main things that you want to address. One, identify the specific focus of the research. In other words, what was the study about? What was the purpose of the study? You should be able to answer this question in a paragraph. Uh, also, describe the characteristics of the population being studied. For example, what was the sample size? Did they look at a classroom? Did they look at a thousand people? Did they look at 15 people? You know, what? how big was the sample size? What were its demographics? Were they broken up by uh, male and female? Were they broken up by education? Were they broken up by age? Uh, that's what you want to be able to answer in a paragraph. Three, evaluate the research questions of your study. Did the researchers suggest hypotheses for their research questions? To what extent are these questions significant and why? You should be able to answer these questions. If you basically understand your article, you should be able to uh, answer these questions. Here's the sample final project. Now you might be thinking, well, where'd the cover page come from? Well, let's go back to the instructions. Here's the due date, Thursday, which I mentioned. There's also um, requirements to reply to your classmates. But notice down here, guidelines for submission. Your draft of the introduction section of your research study report should be one page in length plus a cover page and references and must be written in APA format. Use double spacing, 12 point times New Roman font and one inch margins. Cite all references in APA format. So, notice here it says plus a cover page and references. That's why I have a cover page. It's in the instructions. You have to actually read the instructions. Um, again, don't just eyeball it. I think some students maybe just freak out a little bit and they say, oh, I don't get this. Let me just uh, copy some stuff over and see if it works. You don't want to do that. You want to actually read the instructions. Uh, otherwise, you'll find yourself losing points. So here we see my sample final project. Here's my introduction. Notice how I dedicate one paragraph to the focus. Let's go back to the instructions. Do you see here? Identify the specific focus of the research. I do that here. In the comments area, I give you some tips. And I also, in blue, um, reiterate what questions I'm answering in this section. 
The same thing with population. Notice the second bullet point. Describe the specific characteristics of the population being studied. I do that here under population. And again, I give you some tips over here in the right hand side in a comment. And finally, research questions. I give you some tips over here in the comments area. I went ahead and you might want to just review the sample final project in its entirety uh, so that you don't say too much up front. Remember, your introduction portion should only be a page in length. The content should only be one page in length. Students, because they don't see the full picture, sometimes they get into milestone two and milestone three as they're addressing milestone one. You don't want to do that. You want to stick to the specific questions being asked in the introduction portion. Focus, what was the focus of the study? Population, what was the population in the study? Research questions, what questions came up in the study? And again, you get more detail here in the comment section. Um, and then, of course, I do encourage you to look ahead a little bit just to see where you will be answering other questions. Uh, but don't get too stressed out about looking ahead because some things uh, we will address later in the course. For example, outcomes. Here I talk about p-value. What's a p-value? Well, that comes later, right? So you don't need to, I don't want you to worry too much about the future uh, two milestone projects, but I would like you to get an idea of what you will be answering later so that you don't answer it up front in the introduction portion um, of the final project. So that's it for this video. I will have a video for the second milestone project and a video for the third milestone project as well.